Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to GTA 5, uh, a bike race. I'm joined by Ben. Hello! <laughs> it's, it's all to, uh, Zylus, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Kirsty! Hello! Kirsty Dugu. Wow! <laughs> oh my Oint. god! Nilesy, Nilesy W. Hey guys! Is the W for the win thing? No, then w? it was. Uh, I think there's an immortal on my Twitch channel. It's Nalzi W. I think it's me doing a stupid face. Oh god! Yeah, because Nalzi Nalzi Dub is like pretty pretty good speak now. That's my name on Poker Stars. Is Nalzi Winner? That's true. Yeah, I lose often. Nalzi Winner is not as cool as Nalzi Dub. <laughs> no, you're right. Rydian, hi, Dub, welcome. I neither loser nor winner. Uh, somewhere in between. I thought it oh. stood for Nalzi Wilesy. Nalzy Wilesy was the yeah that does stand for that it stands for Nalzy Wilesy. Nalzy Wilesy, you sound like a cartoon villain. You hey know. there, everybody! It's me, Nalzy Wilesy. Oh no, Nalzy Wilesy's gonna get us. Let's do a downhill bike race. Remember to use your boost. You could rebrand and become like a more children's focused entertainer, Nalzy Wilesy. I'd rather not. Well, not <laughs> <like>. <laughs> Although you know I did that cartoon voice, so that's you know. true. Yeah. That's true. yeah. You're a professional voice actor now. Professional voice actor, Nalsy Wildsy. <laughs> That's what is listed as in the credits. Nalsy Wildsy. Yeah. Watch him on Netflix, everyone, in the comments. Yeah. Watch my show. What's your show called? Bean Puppy Cat. It's a good show, everybody. You'll like it. That's not your show. You've got a. He's a voice. He's a voice. <laughs> I'm a. Whoa, well, well, I'm a major part of that show. I'm a major plot. I didn't realize there were guns. Suddenly, yeah. Ben just pulls out a Lucy. <laughs> Lucy tried to overtake me. So rude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now she's genuinely in that show. Now, uh, I know. Okay. No, but I think Lewis has only seen. No, yeah, you've only seen season one. Oh, sorry. You're like a main character. Yeah, in season two. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. I mean, he plays along with Tommy Wiseau. You know. Yeah. That's true. Your colleague Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau. Yeah. Nilesy Wiseau. That's what it stands for. Oh my god. That's what the W stands for. Oh, oh my god. We figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Nalzy Wizzle. How do you even equip your submachine gun? I can't get the wheel up. Mouse wheel, why? <laughs> I was chatting to someone recently at the part of this party I was at who yeah. counts all the countries that they go to, right? <laughs> right. And they're up to like 51 or something. Wow. And it's it's like, a, apparently it's quite a thing that people do. It's like a little thing that rich thing people do, that, <laughs> sure. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> didn't feel that rich the person I was talking to, but... Yeah, like that, that that's their thing. They try and, you know, get a train train around Europe and go to visit Luxembourg and tick off all these places, you know. Oh. Do they cheat? Do they just literally not get off the train and just mm. sleep for twelve hours and go through all of Europe? Yeah, man. Secondly, I've been in Switzerland multiple times. I've just never set foot out of the car while I was there. <laughs> see see, this is it. This is you know, I've I've technically been in Dubai Airport. But <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't really feel like you've been to Dubai. <laughs> exactly. So I feel like there's some rules in the community that say, I don't know, maybe you have to spend an afternoon there or something, or, you know. I think or, or, even a day, uh, like, you got to sleep there and go out and do something. You have in to my sleep book. there. Yeah, that's another one of the rules. But what about yeah. those cruise ships that make multiple stops, like, in different places? I think if you're on a cruise ship, you don't actually go to a country. You are just on the ship. Like, I don't think that counts. No, no, but, like, a lot of, a lot of those ships allow you to, like, get out for a few hours of the ship. A lot of them have, like, a day trip to somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, if you do something there, but it depends, man. If you're if you're only out and about for like two hours, like does that really count, you know? I think we use virginity rules. Okay, same rules <laughs> for like does it count? Am I still a virgin? Like <laughs> right, just okay. treat the other person as if they're a country. Um, right? Are you <laughs> saying you have to have sex with the country? I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> yes, you have to have proper sex with that country. You have to have <laughs> sex in the country for you to have properly visited the country. Yeah, I think that's fair. Hmm. Yeah. You can't just say, yeah, we were in the same bed together. I'm not a virgin anymore. <laughs> Doesn't count. That's true. Is that not how it works? <laughs> <laughs> what they used to do, um, what people used to do, they used to collect stamps in their passport. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Or well, you used to get stickers for your briefcase. Well, can we do that now? Because now we've done a Brexit, I feel like maybe we get our stickers again. Well, they don't often stamp these days. You, like, there's, there's tourist places that you can go to get them done, but you're not supposed to because it's a passport. I like this idea, though. I like the idea that you collect a specific thing from each country you've been to. Yeah, that is cool. 
you know, like like a sticker or a badge or... My mother collects uh, fridge magnets. I still haven't figured out how to use my stamina, so I'm just having a lovely time. I'm not sure either. You have to hold down caps lock. Really? You have to hold down caps lock. Yeah, it's not doing anything. It says you've got no stamina left on my screen. I don't know. I don't do the control. I spam A. And it seems to work. You spam A. Yeah. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, wait. You're using a controller. <laughs> Yeah, I said the right, controller. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if if I spam day, it would have a very I just turned left. <laughs> <laughs> different effect. <laughs> I guess yeah. I guess I'm asking you guys what your number is, not in the not in terms of how many condoms I've had sex in. Uh... <laughs> With yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which one of us is the most well travelled? Like I think like seven or something, six or seven maybe. About ten. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't count stopping at an airport. That doesn't count. So, but no. yeah. So, but otherwise, been to places, yeah, six or seven. I've been to the Netherlands, of course, because I live there. But outside of that, I've been to the UK, I've been to Germany, I've been to France, I've been to Luxembourg, uh, I've been to Italy. Does Luxembourg count? It's a country. <laughs> it's a country. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to the Canary Islands, I've been to Greece, I've been to Cyprus, I've been to Turkey. No, Canary Islands isn't a country. That's though. part of Spain. All right. Well, then Spain, sure. Well, but yeah, but yeah, but what I'm saying is it's quite a different place though. Like, you know, does Wales count? Does Scotland count? Yeah. yeah. I would say they do, yeah. Also, they do. you say it doesn't really count. Like Canary Islands are closer to Africa than they are to, to, to yeah, Spain. Yeah, but you didn't go to Africa, did you? No, gotcha. <laughs> I'm just saying, like it's oh, it doesn't count. It's Spain. Like okay, in that well, case, well, I'm not making the rules. I'm I'm on your side here, Silas. <laughs> in that case, fucking Aruba yeah. is in the Netherlands. Like I mean, that's just not true. Well, yeah, if you went to the Falkland Islands, does that count? Like, but it's part of the UK. <laughs> you know, it's on the other side of the fucking world. I feel like if you're playing the number game, you care about this stuff, <laughs> yeah. right? <laughs> And then, and then, aside from that, I've been to the United States, and that's it. I think I've been to about seven different countries. I've been to America, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, the Netherlands, and... The UK. The UK, yeah, that was the one. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've been to, like, 15. Mm, okay. Whoa. Winner so far. So I've only been to six. I've only been to six. Wait, did I say France? I think I've been to France. Maybe I've been to twenty. I might have been to twenty actually. Oh, you guys have got you got no Asia going. For no. You. No. No, 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 no Australasia. I basically I've only been in Europe. I'm pretty and sure. I beg Silas to go with me to Kenya, and he won't. <laughs> My sister. Um... What in the bongo? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. For that one, I might fly. My, my sister, when she uh, turned 18, her and a friend went to Asia together for like three months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they've got like, they've got massive numbers now. Well, but yeah. They just went to Thailand and... Yeah, Thailand, Myanmar, Bali. Uh, yeah, like, oh my God. They just visited like six or seven different countries while they were there. See, that's what you want to do. You want to maximize your country exposure. You want to go to those places in Europe where three countries like right next to each other. Oh yeah, you can go to like Belgium, Luxembourg and Holland in like five minutes. I have been to Belgium as well. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> sorry, I went I went to get alcohol. There's this place in the very <laughs> south of the Netherlands where, and I'm sure you probably have very similar things in the UK, but it's like, it's a, like a little bit of Russia. No, no, there's just like a little bit of... Um, <laughs> oh my like god, a, you could go to all the embassies because they're oh, technically yeah. sovereign soil. Just go to London and then bam, 30 countries off straight off the bat. True. Go into the lobby of every embassy. Do, do you have something in the UK um, where that we have here uh, between the Netherlands, Belgium and the UK where this is like one point where if you put your foot there, you're technically standing in three countries at the same time. Yes. Yeah, like you see those American state borders sometimes. Yeah, that's too. Yeah. I think there's a one that's a four or maybe even a five. Wow. In America. I could be wrong. I've been to Bulgaria too. That wasn't great. <laughs> Kirsty keeps remembering that actually she's been loads of places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, when we went to Bulgaria, right, the cocktails were really cheap, so I was pretty <laughs> drunk for most of it. Drink a cocktail in every country, but see, that's a good idea. That's actually legit, that one. I think that works. That's generally how I operate. Yeah, or eat, like, eat a, a, a delicacy. Mm. This wall ride is a nightmare. I know, it sucks. <sighs> the other people is what makes it an issue. Quality is way more important than quantity here. I'd rather go to, like, three or four countries, spend some time there, get to know the place, check it out properly, than just zip around. 
Going, yep, tick, yeah, tick, what are you tick, talking tick, about? Tick. We're gamers, Ben. We've we got, we got to get those numbers Get those cheeves. <laughs> you want to post on Instagram what number you're up to and like have mm. this little communities of people do this. I think it's I think it's fun. Wow, I hate them. Have you seen those scratch-off maps? You can scratch off where you've been. Oh, yeah, they're quite nice. Well, you get a hell of a lot more scratch. You, you visit Moscow for one day and then you get to scratch off a lot of that map. Most of the world. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Yeah, you pop over the border to Canada and you, you know, as well, got a lot of that north coming. <laughs> Isn't there that road in, I think it's Poland or something, mm -hmm. where it goes through a slight bit of Russia? Oh, yeah. Um, for like 10 kilometers or something. I, there was a Tom Scott video on it. An exclave, isn't it? Or yeah. There's a bunch of that. Like, you could go to Denmark and get Greenland covered as well. That would be a good old... I don't know if that really counts. I feel like you have to be on the actual Greenland island. This for is what to, I'm you know? saying, Rhythian, yeah. yes. I feel like it has to count, you know? Otherwise, we could just include all the British Empire. Yeah, exactly. British Empire, <laughs> <That's> like, but... <laughs> well, depending on how many countries, I go by the Sparkle list of countries. So the 197, 197 from me, yeah. I mean, I guess I technically flew into Copenhagen, so... See? I, I, because see. That's, a, <laughs> that's when you're on the airport. I don't count that, you know? I slept there because I slept on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that counts. Yeah, only if you had a cocktail does it count. I didn't have a cocktail, no. <laughs> Rydian didn't buy me one. <laughs> With that logic, I visited multiple US states when I flew over them. Oh, <laughs> yeah. True. Mm. But did you have a cocktail in them? Exactly. I love I love the sky over Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite bit, yeah. What if you go on the International Space Station, orbit the entire Earth? Do you get to tick everything off then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as you have a cocktail while you do it. Yeah. Yeah. I've been to pretty much every country on Google Maps. I think uh, that counts. I've played a lot of GeoGuessr. I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere at this point. The, pe the people who are incredible at that are like basically have been to the country. <laughs> well, they, pro they can recognize countries better than native people in yeah, those yeah. countries can. <laughs> oh, God. Harry's got scary good at um, GeoGuessr. He, he can recognize like you know, the kind of pavements they have in different countries and stuff like that. Really, like, man. He can spot tiny differences. It's like guy Rainbolt, who um, is really good at GeoGuessr, and like, mm -hmm. what he's known for now is he's using his GeoGuessr skills, because he can like, he can figure out what a country is within a tenth of a second, right? Wow. Like, that's how he plays. He, he, he gets... He just crosses his eyes. And you can tell. <laughs> yeah. A tenth of a second, it sees, and then he he will be like, oh yeah, no, this is uh, this is clearly uh, uh, Eswatini, and it's like, okay, uh, how the fuck do you know this? <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> I've never even heard of that. <laughs> so, I thought that was a Pokemon, honestly. Previously known as Swaziland. Oh. But what he does now, and like I, I think it's actually really cool. People send him pictures of um, like places where they don't know where the picture was taken. Like, mm -hmm. so like, oh, my, my parents visited this with, with me when I was really young and I would like oh, to know where this is. Right. And he can, he he figures out for them where that is exactly. <laughs> He's like a private as, detective for hire. As long as it was on a road where a Google car has been, then he's yeah. fine. Well, I've seen a couple of its videos and like, it's really impressive. Like it looks yeah. like, like, well, the angle here implies this, which means that there was probably this building. If this picture was taken in 1980, you can like look up like, oh, there used to be this and this company in this place and from this angle it indicates that there's a road here so if you check the map you can see there's a corner and then it looks around and so it's probably wow. right here it's incredibly impressive yeah holy moly again i'm struggling to find a use for that in real life <laughs> it's another one of those talents that like oh it's great imagine like someone's gone missing and you've got like a hostage picture of them this guy we can just bring him in he, I, I, there could be a whole TV show about this guy. For sure, yeah. Mm. There's been TV shows about a lot less. I mean, th 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 think of just think of any intelligence service, right? Those skills would be quite useful. I mean, you'd think it would be like AI would be really good at it, but actually, I think no, they're not. For now, you do need that like kind of broad linking of knowledge into like you know what companies would might work here, you know. Ringing up the phone numbers. Yeah, it's got it's got to be said as well. Like, yes, he can identify a country within a, a tenth of a second. But if he's just on a dirt road, how? It, yeah, it's impossible. No, no, he can still figure out very quickly if he's on a dirt road. Just, but just by the kind of trees that were there and stuff. Yeah, exactly. A lot of it is to do with the sky, like um, yeah, the position of the sun, etc. Yeah. Wow. But that changes through the seasons. No, the sun never changes. 
<laughs> it changed through the seasons, uh, Lewis. But you've got to remember as well, the Google vans are only in certain countries at certain times. Oh, you know? shut up. That's m- too meta for me. <laughs> it's too meta for you, but not for these people that take it really fucking seriously. He's, like, he's looking at the metadata. Yeah. yeah. Letter, yeah. But yeah, but when he needs to accurately pinpoint where a picture was taken, that takes him longer, of course, because, yeah, you're not going to immediately be like, oh, yeah, no, this is on this latitude and this altitude and, uh, you know... I think sometimes people just need an excuse to go somewhere on holiday or do something different. You know, otherwise they just all work all the time or like, um, you know, go to somewhere they've already been. You know. Well, yeah, you can get. Like, it's, it's a lot of time and money. You only get, you know, one holiday a year or whatever you get, and um, you don't want to risk going somewhere shit and not having a good time. So I can see why people end up going to the same place a lot. Just to yeah, that's fair. the risk, right? If you know a place is great, if you know where to go, and it's a good time. I don't know. Like novelty is great, but it's it's overrated. I think that's definitely a thing that as you get older, you yeah. you, you you desire like security and familiarity. What's well, like? Do you guys go to like restaurants and like almost always order the same meal because you know it's good? Like I have a hard yeah. time. <laughs> Honestly, pretty much. Anytime yeah. I go to any place that has any sort of pasta, it's like. I could get anything else, but I might as well just get carbonara because I'm gonna love it. So, <laughs> so why not? You know. So it is a yeah. it's a struggle I have. Like I do, I'm always excited to try something new, but yeah. oh, I do just like that thing. Yeah, it's tricky. What is our purpose here? Okay, so now this is the box game. Yeah, so you got to smash into those boxes. Have got different weapons in them. You say they have different weapons in them. Oh fuck! The the box that I flew into only had a parachute. Uh, so that was... Uh... Oh, that. I see. Ben, I think this map is broken. Why? <laughs> Maybe you're broken. Because I've gone into two boxes. One was empty. The other one had a parachute in it. <laughs> They're mystery boxes, though. Yeah, but normally they at least have a gun in them. They don't even have guns in them. They, that, that one was just empty. Don't be so violent. When do I want to boost? Just just be as fast as you can. And then... Now? Wait, 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 wait. No. Okay, so boost now. Tilt upwards. Tilt upwards and then boost again. <laughs> oh, you're not tilting upwards How enough. How do I tilt upwards? Back control on your keyboard. Okay. Just start using controllers, guys. For fuck's sake. It will make everything so much easier for all of you. We're gamers. We're, We're gamers. gamers. We use PC. Okay, I'm in another box. Let's see if there's... This box is empty as well. Silas, it sounds like you're really bad at the box game. You let back a bit too far, Kirsty. <laughs> okay, I made it. But <laughs> okay, don't don't get out. Oh my god. I've okay, Kirsty, you can still recover. So what you want to do now? <laughs> if you if your car, if you can get it fixed. I don't think I can. Fuck. So what you could have done is back up off the top and then boost into one of the boxes. But have you got a parachute? I guess not. I don't think I have a parachute. I have a wrench. Kirsty, you're dead. <laughs> Just wrench yourself free. I don't know why I'm complaining about you. I literally died earlier. I can't even hit the goddamn box. I need someone to drive underneath me so I can enter their car midair. Yeah, I can't get get to the boxes. I am struggling. Oh, I believe in you, Kirsty. I mean, I've gone into three boxes so far and they've all been empty, so uh, (laughs) we'll see. uh... Three empty boxes. There's a whole wall of weapons on that, on the mini-map. Yeah, I can see weapons on the map. That's fair. Uh, but I, I promise you, every box I've been into has been empty. Have you sure you looked hard enough? Maybe this is a Dutch thing, because you don't have loot boxes in Holland, right? Maybe that's what it is. That's true, yeah, you don't understand them. Oh my god, this one has a weapon in it! What is it? What did oh, you get? Oh, it's a miracle! A rocket launcher! Oh, fuck! With two bullets in it! <laughs> if you get one person with one of them, they'll die. Ow! How, how do you shoot again? Ch- change your weapon. Mouse word to change weapon. Change weird weapon. It'll be one of the things. That they- oh, there we go. Uh oh. And then tilt, Ben, and then boost. Oh my God! Oh, he shot me the, That's the one. That's the one. I found how to shoot. <laughs> Was that homing missiles? Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's bad. I had homing missiles as well. I've got Zaz on my team. This is great. He knows how to get weapons. So they do have stuff in the boxes. Yeah, I, I found a uh, one of those cars that was on the. Yeah, so some of them are empty. Some of them will have stuff in them. It might as well be nothing, but at least <laughs> sometimes they have something in them most of the time. No, no, no. If you never had it, where you buy a mystery box and you're like, oh, what's going? What am I going to get? And it's empty. Oh no, my no. God. <laughs> Do you know what this reminds me of? Hmm. The fucking munchie box, Nazi. Yeah, yeah. 
Munchie box is lovely. The Scottish deep fat fried uh, box of brown things. Do you not have them? I told them. No, I've I've seen pictures, but. Oh really? Wow! I'm fascinated. So, what is the what are the components of a the standard munchie okay. box? Yeah, yeah, a munchie box. And honestly, as a standard tier, this isn't like a meme. Like we actually have the like battered Mars bars and stuff. Nobody eats that shit. But munchie boxes, absolutely. Um, it's like uh, so. It's a big pizza box first of all, mm. and it's full of chips, fucking tons of chips. And then you'll get pakora, you'll get doner meat. You'll get salad. You'll get chili salad. sauce. You'll no, get... no, 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 no. There's not salad. Well, it was, sometimes there is, but nobody eats it. It's brown. It's like, <laughs> it's everything brown. It's like spare ribs, satay chicken, oh, chicken balls, God. spring rolls. Yeah, if you get it from a Chinese restaurant, yeah. But there's multiple different kinds of munchie boxes. I'm talking about the one from a chippy. The one from a chippy, you'll tend to get like Greek kind of like doner oh. meat. Oh, um, really? Kebab stuff. Yeah. If you get a munchie box from a Chinese, then uh, yeah, you're going to get your 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 spring rolls, your... Um... It just sounds like a meal for four in one box. Yeah, and it costs about a tenner. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know how if you're going to make something healthy, you take away the roll or like the bread bit and replace it with salad? Yeah. Imagine that, but you just replace it with more meat. So just carbs <laughs> and meat. And more more deep fried things, yeah. So that's basically what a munchie box is. Sounds delicious. It is. It's, it's so brown. If you get it from a chippy, it comes with like a full pizza or like a full garlic bread, <laughs> oh like the God. size of the box and... Yeah, badgies and all that. It's really, really good. You get them from uh, Indian places as well that have like Indian stuff in them. Yeah. Oh, do you? All, all like, different... Yeah, like rice and oh, right. You know, pakoras, samosas, things like that. I keep hitting the crosses between the boxes. It's really annoying. <laughs> I got a rocket launcher and it had two bullets. So I used them both and uh, missed. <laughs> no. By the way, I've got a trick for the people on PC for uh-huh. getting the box. Yes, right. Yes. Yes. What you need to do is not touch WASD after you leave the ramp. Okay. Oh. Oh, I got an empty box. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, and see, I told you, there are empty boxes. This sucks, dude. Mine had a crowbar in it. Oh, what? <laughs> You've already got a wrench. I got a machine gun. So what's the price of an average munchie box? A tenner. Uh, ten, 10 to 15 pound. Uh, 15 pound will be like a fucking a big, uh, like a good one, like from a Chinese place. It might have more. So can any restaurant make a munchie box? Can they just say, yeah. put all of your brown things in yeah. a pizza box? <laughs> I'll tell you what else. Uh, something else is iconic about munchie box mm. is it'll come wrapped in sellotape because there's so much in it that they oh, literally have to tape it shut. Yeah, like you, when you get it, it will be bulging. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's that's how you can tell it's a good one. It's got a push-up box. But it's only a matter of time before, you know, it evolves into... Mac, Mac Munchie Box. Do you know what I mean? There's, there'll yeah. be a McDonald's version or whatever. It'll be just a burger without the bun. <laughs> It'll be like a slice, slice of cheese slapped in there. We have chips. We have them like nuggets. once, uh, once uh, every couple of weeks or something. Mm. We get them. God, you make me hungry. A Mac Munchie Box. It is only a matter of time because this is what they do, right? They they just get onto the social trends, right? They know how. But to... Munchie Box has been around for years and years and years and years. Yeah. Surely yeah, but like... now it's on Reddit. Oh, I see. Now it's on Reddit. Okay. So now it's like famous. Oh, nosy. I got a weapon. Don't do that. Well, you know the people who make the decisions. No. <laughs> the innovators in the the food innovators. They're always trying to come up with new menu items, you know? Got to find new ways of selling old shit. They have to find new ways to keep their job <laughs> before they become redundant. Have you ever heard of Too Good To Go? I have. I don't, I'm not a fan. So it's an app that... It's leftovers, right? Well, you, you explain what it is. Yeah. No, well, yeah, you, I think you know it, but it's a, it's an app where, like, if you're near, if you're in a city like Bristol, mm. and um, you're near, like, a bunch of restaurants like Greg's and things like that, if they have shit at the end of the day that they're just going to throw out, They'll put it up for sale on this app called Too Good To Go, and you go and you buy it. It costs like two fifty, and you get like a mystery bag full of just like random stuff. Just all the stuff no one wants it. Yeah, delicious. Otherwise, it'd go in the bin. It's supposed to be a good deal, but it rarely is. It actually works fairly well if you're like a basically an omnivore because you're gonna have to eat a lot of weird stuff. Oh god, yeah, you couldn't do that if you're a vegan, could you? Like, it's like two thirds no. of the stuff. It's just not for you. Oh. Oh, yes! It's over for you bitches! Did you finally get Uh-oh. something? I got a Uh-oh. shitty ass machine gun. It is so over for you all! No, did you get the jetpack? I got a tank! What? Oh, what? what? No way! Nice. Oh, here he comes! Oh, I'm dead instantly! Oh, here he comes! <laughs> <laughs> Watch out guys, he's got a tank! Yeah. Oh, here he comes! 
<laughs> He's a tank driver. <laughs> Goose this. They need a Hello. lot of rockets to kill that tank. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. See ya. Oh, it's not even just a tank. It's a space tank. What? Oh. That's a cool. That's a cool tank. Uh. Another empty box! God damn it. All right, Chris, you have one more chance. Fuck off, Silas. Imagine not opening the tank box, you guys are I know, it's really foolish of me. Yeah, why wouldn't you just open the tank? I should have just gone to the tank box immediately, in retrospect. Oh my oh god! Oh dear, Kirsty. Shit. That's such bad, like, uh-oh, you are in trouble. No, 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 he's, he's, not, he's not getting me, man. He's not getting me. Kirsty, just see when you start <laughs> flying. Like, go to the edge, press E, and then take your hands off I WSD. I have been, I have been. I, I'm doing it, I'm just hitting Kirstie's the... Kirsty's um... doing it fine, I'll see. Yeah, don't, don't mansplain this game, Fucking though. Fucking mansplaining <laughs> GTA races to me, Nilesy. <laughs> I've already ma I already mansplained this game to her five minutes ago, Nilesy. All right, I didn't boost enough this time for... <laughs> Go on, Kirsty. Fuck off, Silas. <laughs> you got this, Kirsty. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, what did you say? I what said, fuck say? off, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. <laughs> <it's> <laughs> I was being nice, giving you chances. Are you telling me to fuck off? And I'd do it again. Oh, you got all three kills. Brutal. He would, he had a tank. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I did have a tank. Just get a tank forehead. <laughs> just, just go into the tank. What the hell? I definitely remember which box was the tank box. For sure, which one it was. Excellent. And you definitely have the skill to aim exactly for it as well. Yeah. The only thing I can definitely tell you, the tank is in one of the lower two rows, I'm pretty sure. What are the other, like, food trends? Food trend, one food trend I've seen is called uh, the dump dump dish, or dump dump whatever, which means basically no mm. plates. You just get, like, uh, say, uh, like a, uh, you just dump all the food on the table, and then you eat from the table. It's awful. Awful. What the fuck? It is horrendous. I've seen restaurant tables before. They are not the super cleanest of things. Yeah. Well, people do it at home, which is the bizarre bit as well, you know. Do they not know what a dump is? Like, that, don't call my food a dump. <laughs> oh my god! All right, I think I think we got it, lads. I think we've got Empty it. Empty box. Empty. <laughs> Did you get the tank immediately, really? Not the tank. The jetpack flying thing of a jing. Oh my god! Oh no! And you're not on my team. Okay. No, it's on my team, baby. No. Assuming I don't crash and die. Let's see. Yeah. Well, I guess we could crash into you. That's true, you can. Oh, Morse. fuck! The, that dump dish sounds so stupid. How, what if you, what if they just, they just dump spaghetti on the <laughs> yeah. table? Yeah, literally, they dump spaghetti on the table and then pour sauce all over it and then just throw meatballs at everyone sitting around the table and just say, bon appetit, bitch. <laughs> You're right. And that's, that's <laughs> kind of, that's it. That's how you feed, like, farmyard animals. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not so into that. <laughs> that's the next. That's the next trend. The slop tray. The trough. The trough bar. The trough. <laughs> the trough bar. All the cool kids are eating out of a trough these days. That would sell. Oh my god! <laughs> Imagine a restaurant with a trough that everyone just had to eat out of. They already make me piss in a trough. I don't want to have to eat out of one as well. I can't get out of my car. Okay, Flip there we go. Kirstie. Oh my god! Oh, what? <laughs> Hang on. Look, I need the gun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can get back in the. I don't think you can. <laughs> I think you've got to snipe the jetpack from here All with right, your here rifle. Here we fucking go. Ready and commit. Oh, Kirsty, you can get into the next room. I think. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh. What? Oh my god, you can get. You can walk between rooms. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, this is insane. This changes everything. Rocket oh. launcher. <laughs> this is uh, this because I'm. I can't. I can't uh, hit you. <laughs> Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh, yes. Right as to say I can't hit you, I hit you. <laughs> right as we discover the meta for this fucking yeah. map. <laughs> what was the meta, sorry? The, what, you could walk between the rooms. No way, you could. Wait, in the boxes? Oh yeah. my god. Because you just raided like four rooms in a row. <laughs> I'm so glad we don't have any more of those. Yeah, I <laughs> Thank you, everyone. That was some GTA. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.